Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doki Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at part 2 of the worldwide celebration campaign that has recently come out on DBZ Doki Metal Global and JP, the strongest in the universe campaign part 2 and essentially just all the content, everything that's come with it, what you need to know, what you don't need to know, etc. Uh, so I have already covered the Metal Cooler EZA and the tickets. I will place videos to them in the top right hand corner when they are appropriate. But this video was filmed slightly earlier before some of these things were available. So firstly, in terms of login bonus, nothing much has changed, but there was a notable login bonus. If you log in after the start of part two, you will receive seven celebration summon tickets and a brand new sport item. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's not, you know, wild or super amazing but it is something pretty cool the new support item looks pretty interesting as well and i'm interested to see just how good it is uh, in certain content so the new support item looks really interesting uh, very very excited to give it a try then obviously in terms of what we need to focus on next the tickets so the summon tickets are obviously very very important Guys, I've done a video, a guide on how to get part two and part one. I'm just gonna leave a link to part two. Uh, it has a link to part one and everything you need to know in the video. Uh, so hopefully that will be able to help you guys uh, and you'll be able to find these summon tickets and really have a good time with them. Then obviously you know, beyond these summon tickets, we also have the new co-op campaign. Now the co-op campaign will just drop 10 stones and it is fairly straightforward. Uh, for the most part it requires you to defeat enemies. Now most of these enemies will be taken on in stage 4 uh, of the billion power event if you are farming the metal coolers or if you are trying the break the limit event. There's plenty of ways to fight lots of enemies. You should get this relatively easy. Uh, obviously it's kind of in connection to the fact that you, well that Goku and Vegeta fought you know 50,000 bloody coolers in the movie so yeah that's obviously something that's pretty straightforward uh, for you now in terms of the part two missions uh, you're going to get about 14 stones from these and a lot of these are very simple uh, clear any stage with category a is powerful comeback category b is wicked bloodlines all fairly straightforward stuff. Equipping a skill orb and clearing a stage, you can get skill orbs from the Clash of Skill and Wisdom event. Uh, but for the most part, you know, these missions should be things you achieve relatively simply. Uh, there are some missions in regards to the, you know, Extremes the Awakening of units uh, that is also fairly simple or winning any Extremes the battle. Uh, you can do the Metal Cooler event to get this done. You can do any Extreme Z battle, so you don't need to do the Metal Cooler event, but that will be a brand new one for you to try uh, and to obviously clear these missions on. So, yeah, fairly straightforward missions, 14 stones as well, which is all really, really nice. Then we have a couple events, uh, a couple events that have been obviously updated, and we have a couple new events to tackle. Uh, so we'll just start right uh, kind of from the get-go when we take a look at them. But first, before we do all that, we'll take a look at the campaign. So obviously in terms of part two, there's some important dates to keep in your head. Uh, but the banners will be out on the 14th, uh, 14th, 15th, depending on your time zone. But the banners will be out then. Uh, so if anyone's wondering when the banners will be out, it will be on the 14th, 15th. Uh, so don't worry too much about that. So yeah pretty straightforward then obviously we have you can see with the dragonstone sale when the banners will be out by the way because it will probably refresh uh, very shortly before and after so yeah uh, really clean kind of stuff obviously in terms of a current content that we got we got the current extreme z battle uh it wasn't open at the time of recording this video it opened up a couple of hours later but it is up now uh, so give it a try. I'll leave it in the top right hand corner. A little bit of assistance for you guys there. So that's obviously something that's very, very cool. Metal Cooler gets his easy air, but also Tech, Vegeta, and Strength Piccolo as well. Then we have the Cooler Army mission, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, you get a lot of link leveling done with it, which is really exciting and very high value. 
Then we have the breakthrough event, which is a great way to earn some stones and a nice little kind of damage slash AOE event, uh, which we'll take a look at. We have the update to the fight uh, strongest in the universe event, which is obviously based on the two cooler movies. We have two new stages added to the Wicked Bloodlines Red Zone, and we have three new missions added to the Broly Red Zone. So all very, very good stuff. Uh, a lot of them bring new stones. Obviously, you know, we have quite a few stones overall, guys. Um, Extreme Z area for the Goku Gohan, the Tech Cooler, and the Strength Metal Cooler will all come on the 13th, uh, along with an update to the fighting spirit event and that event is going to probably only drop six stones with it so generally speaking that's where you're going to find them and then obviously after that we have a little update to idbh uh, idbh will feature 24 stones that is usually what it features so 24 stones for the infinite dragon ball history event all fairly straightforward so yeah then um yeah in terms of all the stones, 14 for the missions, 36 stones uh, for the metal cooler easier. We have one stone for the link leveling stage. You get 30 stones from the breakthrough event. You get eight stones from the new story stage. You get 12 stones from the two new red zone wicked bloodline stages. You get 15 from the Broly red zone missions. You get nine from the new extreme Z area that'll come out six from the fighting spirit stages and 24 from the idbh to give a grand total for the second part without factoring in the gohan bonus or anything like that of 160 plus stones which is pretty nice now of course the new namek threat break through the super armor is very similar to some of the events we've had in the past where essentially you face one type of enemy and then your goal is to kind of take them down so type teams are very good here uh, there's certain categories that have advantages here and generally speaking you also want to have aoe uh, to try and take out the enemy as much as possible uh, so honestly speaking i think um, it's going to be a pretty interesting event it is quite challenging if you don't have the units for it so just bear in mind that it can be a little bit frustrating then we have the Deadly Struggle, uh, Menacing Army. This is obviously a new event, which is for link leveling. Now you can challenge this event three times in seven days. It is best to take this event on as soon as possible. It's great for XP uh, and it's great for link leveling. So very high value event. We have two new stages for the Ultimate Red Zone Wicked Bloodline uh, against well, Mega Freezer and King Cold and against metal cooler so pretty interesting there no chilled or anything yet no golden freezer but i'm sure we'll get there we have the updated missions for the broly event uh, and yeah that's pretty much covering everything that has come out obviously guys uh you know a main focal point especially for the tickets will be the strongest in the universe battle uh, or story event very very important there's four new stages there Eight stones, but more importantly, it brings about the awakenings for all of the metal coolers uh, that come from the billion power, the 10 billion power uh, kind of event. So, yeah, generally speaking, very, very important for a very fun looking free to play team, uh, but also very crucial to getting your summon tickets. So you are going to have to invest there if you want to get things done. Now, of course, we have the Cooler's Army uh, as well. This, you know, as we've spoken through, very good for link leveling. Uh, I'll have a video looking at it, looking at how it works, and obviously seeing how it levels links a bit later on. Then we have the new red zone stages, also very straightforward. And then we have the breakthrough, the super armor event tons of great rewards here 30 stones uh, in total as rewards from this event and you can get a large portion of them simply by finishing each typing you don't you know you don't have to nail on the event with every single one so you just need to try and push through as much as you can and keep trying and keep trying i think that's generally a good way to go about it there's no limit to it there's no stamina so just give it your best shot. Uh, 
hit me with your best shot basically in terms of this event so very very simple stuff um we'll go through it i'll do a video on each typing and what team i'll be using uh, and hopefully that'll be able to help you but also just understand that it is a little bit of rng a little bit of reattempting, a little bit of kind of everything with it so yeah then in terms of everything else uh, there's not too much more to say uh, as i mentioned before you know the missions for the burly stage you have very similar or exactly the same as the gt ones i should say um, super class team extreme class team and finishing it in eight turns instead of seven turns so yeah very straightforward now at the time of recording the video there was not the metal cooler extreme z battle up uh, but i obviously have done a video on it i've already posted it and i've left a link to it in the top right hand corner so that should cover pretty much everything i think at this point but that's it from me guys hope you enjoyed the video i wish you all the best of luck leave a comment down below if you need any help or if you have any thoughts and opinions and just let me know how you're finding the celebration overall but as always guys thank you so much for watching really appreciate it hope you all stay safe take care and i'll see you guys in the next one until then bye